Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome back. I'm here with my fiance as we dive into more SCP stuff. He really likes that damn. Damn, I don't speak German either. Okay. He likes these ones. So he asked me to watch the last one. And now we're going into this one, which is End of Death. So before we get started, don't forget to the like button, the subscribe button, leave a comment down below to be the algorithm. God. God. And uh, yeah, join us live over on Twitch. I stream every single day at Alicia X Life. Let's get it. That terrible and inevitable consequence of life. But as the Foundation discovered in the aftermath of Project Demorong, its absence can be even more horrifying than its presence. Let's bring you up to speed, shall we? Here's the story so far. After the death of Overseer 05-11, the SCP Foundation's infamous O5 Council learned the horrifying truth of what happened. Oh, pff, they're all fucked. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're all there fucked. They know what happens now. <laughs> no everlasting paradise or eternal damnation. Instead, the dead. A lucky go next, I guess. <laughs> I mean, I guess there is no next. <laughs> of everything happening to them <laughs> after passing, <laughs> even their bodies decomposing. I die, we all pass away. And it's really okay. You might try to hide and you might try to pray, but we all end up in back one day. Because I was shaking too much ass. Yeah, Okay. Gotta wait for that earthquake. Yep. Established Project Amaron. This was an internal foundation backed endeavor created with one singular goal in mind okay. to capture and contain death itself. Oh, they stupid as, as bricks. Oh, project, they're so stupid. Created the machine known as SCP 3448. At first, it seemed like just an ordinary MRI machine from a hospital. SCP-3448 had a number of anomalous modifications. For a second, that motherfucker sounded like he was rapping. It a putting them in a sort of half-dead state. While in this state, a subject placed within That's the machine, me. I'm gonna have to this state. Shit. Could maintain a consistent line of two-way communication between their disembodied consciousness and the Foundation. Instead of deploying a member of D-Class personnel, one of the SCP Foundation's own agents was placed into SCP-3448. D-Class stands for they don't mean agent dick Anthony to us, Myers shoddy. Agent was elected to act as SCP-3448-A. And serve as the conduit yep. between the living the world and the endless nothing that lies beyond. But as often happens when people dabble with forces they cannot possibly understand, something <laughs> to learn. Oh. The to contain death took an unexpected turn. When Agent Michaels was placed into the machine, things ended up getting much, much worse. Buckle up. Because we're about to dive into the ill-fated outcome of the death-defying Project Demerang, the catalyst for the end of death itself. One of the mm -hmm. components connected to SCP-3448 is a monitor. This screen is used to interpret the electrical activity of SCP-3448-A's brain once they have entered the half-death state, known okay. as SCP-3448-1. This component of the anomalous MRI machine is able to intake these electrical signals and interpret them as images, occasionally with words accompanying them too. During his time in the machine, Agent Michael's brainwaves were able to deliver some rather interesting imagery to the Foundation researchers. Oh, that's nice. A number of these seem to be a bizarre and seemingly disconnected series of images, almost like something taken directly out of a dream, hard to find any real context for. The first was a human figure, surrounded by a swarm of buzzing insects. Oh my god, he's playing After Pokemon! Minutes, <laughs> the monitor connected to SCP-3448 <laughs> showed this figure looking <laughs> swollen, <laughs> as if it had been stung. Oh god, like Butterfree, does that count? <laughs> as the obscure Big humanoid collapsed. Yeah. The next day, the screen showed a man lying alone in the desert somewhere, with an oasis in the distance. Almost like the classic Mirage, someone dying of thirst sees just out of reach as they stumble through the endless sand dunes. The same day, the image changed to a man in a fetal position, in a room oh. made of dirt with bones and roots protruding from the walls. So far, the dreamlike images coming through from Agent Michael's half-dead mind look strange. Almost like the contents of the infamous videotape from the horror movie. Hey, shit! Sure. It's the ring! Oh. Do these images mean anything? <laughs> <laughs> Mamma mia! <laughs> Oh, no. I was like, oh, the ring. And you're like, Mario. 
Shit. <laughs> What's Papa Toad? Dap me up, Yo. mother of goddamn. <laughs> so, what? Was the man, the human-shaped figure appearing in them, Agent Michaels himself? Or some kind of representation of his disembodied consciousness? Now Damn. that it had been separated from him by the SCP-3448 That's rough, buddy. <laughs> researchers described the imagery seen on the monitor as being akin to watching someone's acid trip for over a week. <laughs> However, the same researchers yeah, also theorized yeah. that because <laughs> Agent Michaels yeah. was being held in a half-dead state, that the other things appearing in the images with him could also be similarly half-dead. The researcher believed that what they were seeing was more of an abstract, conceptual representation of death, not a conventional afterlife. Like the idea of walking up to the pearly gates or the fire Damn. and brimstone of hell. So the researcher decided to try That's all I had to say for that. <laughs> Dashly disassembling Damn. things and placing them into SCP-3448 with Agent Michaels. Sure enough, doing this meant that the man in the images now had whatever object was put into the machine. For example, when they broke apart a lighter, it appeared in the man's possession on screen. Unfortunately, this was the biggest mistake that the researcher could have made. Uh... The images on the monitor began to show the man, now believed to be Agent Anthony Michaels, being attacked by a little girl. Thought to be a manifestation of the very concept of death, this girl was seen stabbing the agent with a femur, torturing him while the Foundation oh, were sat that. watching. Yeah, I thought so too! I thought she was aiming for the booty cheek! The researcher cheek. <laughs> requisitioned a handgun, partially disassembling it like the lighter in order to arm Agent Michaels against his attacker. Oh, I gave him a gun and an MRI <laughs> Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know, sure enough, Chief. Michaels was able to draw the firearm and fend off his attacker. The agent fired off a shot that, over the course of more bizarre, creepy, and disjointed images oh, no. involving skeletons and teddy bears, seemed to hit the girl square in the head. The image that followed showed Agent Michaels standing alone in a garden, flowers blooming as dead insects rained down around him. On the ground beside the agent was a stuffed animal, a crow Chimkin. with a bullet mm. hole Chimkin. through its head. Chimkin. Shortly after, the following words appeared on the monitor <laughs> attached to SCP-3448. I hope you enjoy your hike, Dad. For a few short moments, nothing seemed to be all that different to the Foundation and the outside world. <laughs> the researcher who My brain's just like, that seemed nice. <laughs> yeah, 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 me too. I have no more brain, so. <laughs> that seems nice, thanks. Uh, that's, that was my takeaway, too. Provided Agent Michaels with the handgun was trapped in a state of shock for a brief God, while, damn it. Until five minutes later when the phone calls started flooding in. The first came from Joyce. A woman known to the researcher who frantically explained how her father, who had been dying, now was totally fine all of a sudden. The researcher the couldn't quite tell oh, if she was happy or terrified up. by what seemed to be happening. Next came the orders from above. The overseer, 05-4, the only council member aware of Project Demerung and who had backed it financially, called to congratulate the researcher and the rest of the team behind the project. It seemed that Demerung had been successful in the goal they had set out with to contain the cognito hazard known as death. Yep. 05-4 yeah. demanded that all records and information regarding the project was to be incinerated. Yep. It seems stupid. I mean, it just sounds stupid knowledge. when you say it aloud, the too. The was far, far worse than stupid any at the Foundation really. These motherfuckers dumb as hell. Dawned on the researcher, they deserve what's happening next. <laughs> we all know what's going to be SCP bad shit next. <laughs> that Project Demarong had not succeeded at all. <laughs> they hadn't contained anything, the hadn't oh, secured shucks. the conceptual oh, form shucks. of death. <laughs> what they had done instead, by foolish mistake, was neutralize death. They had killed death itself, and yep. now the world as they knew it was gone, changed almost indefinitely. Now not a single person in the world could die. They had caused the end of death. <laughs> On the surface, a world without well, death shit, sounds I guess like I'm a utopia. Taking that out. Society <laughs> where everyone on what is happening? How do they how do they start hooking up? <laughs> but those with a little more foresight will know that peaceful immortality for the human race is a fool's dream. Think about how many people there are living in the world right now. The overall global population grows exponentially every year. While death might be a sad and somber part of life, it is unfortunately necessary. Even with all the deaths that occur worldwide every year, the resources of planet Earth are still being stretched through. Water, <laughs> Shit. oil, Die, motherfucker, die, motherfucker, die! Everywhere <laughs> you go, there are plenty of people who don't have enough of any. 
So what happens when people don't die, just keep aging infinitely? What happens when the earth becomes too Oh my god, no insurance. Money for your great great grandparents. They still live in. Even oh, more shit. than it How old that? does. Society as we Connect know it across or... the globe <laughs> would collapse. And that's exactly what happened. The foundation had done the unthinkable. They had vanquished the very concept that takes us from being alive to being deceased. But there's a reason Kilroy J. Oldster called death the great equalizer of human beings. It is meant to catch up with everyone. Every person born is ultimately destined to die. And by removing that element of human mortality from the equation, the SCP Foundation had unknowingly pushed the world towards disaster. With the actions of the <laughs> within SCP I'm just sitting here like, this is funny. Death yeah. as a concept ceased to exist almost instantaneously, as if someone had flipped an off switch. People didn't become undead. Things that had long since passed away and been confined to six feet under the dirt didn't start clawing their way back up to the surface. We aren't talking about a zombie outbreak. This isn't Dawn of the Dead. Instead, human beings across the world just refuse to die. Their brains continuing to function and bodies continuing to age, despite any oh. damage or yeah. injuries they sustained. Like, damn, Fatal wounds were now just as dangerous <laughs> my as- My bones are literally ash in my body. <laughs> The concerns about how undying Bugs ate me hundred years ago. The planet were also extended to animals too, which were also affected by the end of death that Project Demerung had triggered. As a result, the threat of starvation on a potentially head. global scale was greater than such a concern ever had been. Of course, the SCP Foundation left the concerns of a potential humanitarian crisis to those in charge of world governments. The United Nations could worry themselves over how to feed and care for a population that simply won't die. The Foundation had bigger fish to fry. Their mistake had caused this situation, so only they could undo it. The only solution they could come okay. up with? Figuring out new ways of killing people. Holy fuck! In one way or another. And like, how the fuck am I gonna get the asses? We gotta figure it out. Through various means. Gotta bury it Strangulation, people. both by Jesus hand or with the use of a belt, didn't seem to work the way it should have with the D-Class being strangled, likely going into a coma due to a lack of oxygen to their brain. Not dying, but living in unconscious agony. In a similar experiment, placing a D-Class in a vacuum led to burst blood vessels, impaired motor functions, widespread paralysis, to name a few forms of damage. But still, death could not be achieved. Cutting, blood loss, poisoning, starvation, shooting, even decapitation of the Man, class these motherfuckers doctor seuss that shit. <laughs> In some sense, simply allowing these subjects to die might have just been kinder, if death was still possible, that is. The foundation even went as far as removing the brain of a live monkey, placing it in a blender, and testing to see if there was any electrical activity present. And wouldn't you know, it was somehow still alive. At least as far as life can be measured by human beings. <laughs> this key part of uh, the existence. Yep. The no head empty, no brain. <laughs> removing that was like taking a crucial Return element to out of a circuit. To the world just didn't yeah. function in the way it was supposed to anymore. What hope did the Foundation have now? What could possibly be done to solve this colossal mistake? Well, the answer is very little. Apart from waiting Damn. for the inevitable collapse, you say you shit out of luck. <laughs> what awaited was a world in ruin, where everyone was starving but nobody could die. A planet and a people just hanging on until the universe eventually blinked out of existence. Why? So yep. then, <laughs> you gonna say that? <laughs> yeah. That's not that story. We you both, can't cheat we both death said it. Because death isn't the other player, it's the game itself. Now go check out secret group that runs the world, SCP-05 Council Explained, and SCP-006 Fountain of Youth for more videos about attempts to <laughs> cheat death and its not-so-pleasant consequences. W, W. <laughs> I don't... <laughs> it was kind of goofy. Yeah. I think the animations make me find it funny instead of taking it serious. Uh, yeah, because, yeah, the wiki's all... Formatting and everything. And like the Vulgan reads it and it feels fucking creepy and eerie. This just feels like this just fucking funny.
funny. Uh -huh. They're using like those default ass. I ordered it for five dollars on Fiverr animation. Right. <laughs> like the ones they use for if you want to pay five bucks and get like a work briefing done for <laughs> HR done. Yeah. So like yeah, I don't I don't think we go back <laughs> to this channel. But still, we'll link to the original video in the description because maybe you might like that style, and that's completely fine. We can have different thing opinions. Nonetheless, the voice acting was fucking awesome, though. Dude's voice is cool as hell. So, uh, anyways, we'll catch you later. Thanks for your love and support always, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye, YouTube!